Hello, Booktube, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Uh, I've been working on these books this week, but um, it's been another one of these weeks I haven't gotten much done. So hopefully this will be a short video. Uh, continuing to work on Buddha, uh, Volume 7, I th think I got a couple chapters done this week, but not very much. Uh, still haven't gotten around to doing my review of Dune. Uh, I said I was going to get get it last week, and I didn't, so this week, I, I, re I really think it'll be this week. We'll see. Uh, diagramming sentences, I've uh, only gotten a few pages read, but I'm near the end, uh, and at the end, uh, everything is uh, consolidation exercises. So did this one this afternoon, and then... This one here is one of the written quizzes. Uh, did that one as well. Uh, and then only have... Uh, only have the appendix left, and then I'm done with this book. So uh, I, I guess look for a review of this coming soon as well. Uh, and then Journey to the West. So uh, I finished up the episode that I was... Uh, that I think I've been on for the last three weeks... Uh, about this fight with the demon kings, uh, Golden Horn and Silver Horn, the two brother demons. Of course, a lot of this book is fighting with various demons. Uh, the, the, the book is, um, I, I'm told, it's got a reputation for being very repetitive. So, uh, yeah, th this is yet another section in which they're fighting some demons. Um, so I think I left it off last time. The monkey had just escaped from the gourd. Uh, the monkey is able to get the gourd from the demon king uh, and give him a fake gourd, and they have another fight. Uh, and the whenever you say somebody's names and they respond, they get sucked into the gourd. So the demon king and the monkey are fighting. They both have gourds. Demon king doesn't know he has the fake one. Uh, and the monkey tries to tell him that he's got the superior gourd. Uh, demon King tries to suck the monkey and it doesn't work. Monkey calls a Demon King's name. The book says he had no choice but to respond, and I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, that, does it mean like he, he was literally forced to respond because of the power of the gourd, or he just felt so ashamed not to respond? Uh, I don't know, but for... He responds, and he gets sucked inside the gourd. Uh, now, I, I talked last week, this gourd had the power to turn anyone who was inside it into pus. Um, now, when the monkey was inside it, he didn't turn to pus right away, but that's because he'd been hardened in the furnace of heaven, way back in the opening chapters of this story. Uh, the, the demon king, when he gets sucked inside, is turned immediately into pus, so the monkey can hear him sloshing around. But the monkey doesn't realize what's happened. The monkey thinks that the Demon King is trying to trick him the way he had earlier tried to trick the Demon King by peeing in the gourd or, or spitting into the gourd. He, he hears the sloshing around but doesn't know that the Demon King has already been turned into pus. The Demon King's brother, though, knows what's happened. Uh, and the, the Demon King's brother is wailing... Uh, and in some sort of grief. Uh, and he goes out to gather um, the demons. There are all these she-demons out in the... Um, I don't know if you can hear the sound of that kid's toy out there. Apologies if you can. Uh, the, 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 there are all these she-demons out in the, the uh, mountains, as well as the, the demon's uncle shows up, uh, which is King Fox Septimus. A lot, a lot of these demons are portrayed as like fox demons. Uh, although I, I, I guess, I, I don't think it's made explicit in the text that they're all fox demons, but certainly a lot of them seem to be fox demons. I, I don't know if somebody, if a Chinese person with a greater understanding of the mythology would, would know more um, when reading this. But at, at any rate, the, because the, the monkey had killed the demon king's mother, her younger brother, the uh, king Septimus, a, a fox demon, uh, also joins them in revenge. And they, they get this whole army together 
uh, which is uh, going to battle uh, the monkey and uh, the pig in Friar Sand. You know, it, it, it struck me while I was reading that section that there are a lot of big battles in this book. Uh, and uh, I, you, it struck me because when I was debating which Chinese classic to pick up, uh, our library also has uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. And that, I've not read it, but my understanding is it's supposed to be like the Chinese Iliad. So, uh, w so I'm just noticing that the, the, the lighting uh, on this whole room seems to change when I hold the book up. I don't know what's going on there. You, you can see my face gets lighter now, huh? Now it gets darker. Now it gets lighter. Anyways, um, the, the, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms is supposed to be the Chinese Iliad, I, I, I think. Um, and I, I went for Journey to the West, which I was thinking which would be more of a, a journey story. But there are a lot of big battle scenes, uh, even in this journey book. Uh, they, they have a big fight with all the demons. Uh, the monkey does some tricks by pulling out his hair and making a bunch of little demons. Uh, then the demons uh, have a couple gifts left. There's a fan that they wave that turns the whole mountain into fire. And the monkey has to do some sort of somersault to escape. Uh, and then uh, the, the demon goes to sleep, uh, I think, if I remember right. And the monkey's able to steal his gifts, including a vase in which the, the demon gets sucked inside. And at the very end, uh, Lord Lao comes down from heaven to, to sort things out. And it turns out these two demons were uh, servant boys of Lord Lao, who uh, became went, went down to earth to, to become demons and rule. And the monkey says, well, you... This is all your fault. You should, really should take better care of your servants. Uh, keep better eye on your servants. And there was also something about this whole thing being a test that was set up by, what's her name, Guanyin, the uh, Buddhist, Bodhisattva. Uh, sorry, Bodhisattva. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, to, to to test their merit as they were going out on this journey, which makes the monkey mad. Uh, and then uh, Lord Lao, uh, it's a little bit unclear here from this text, but it sounds like Lord Lao brings those two demons back to life and they go back up with him to heaven to be his um, servants once again. Then we go on to the next episode in chapter 36. This book is very episodic. Uh, they're going along and they encounter a Buddhist monastery in the mountains where they want to spend the night. Uh, so they go and request lodging and the chief abbot uh, takes one look at the, the monk uh, and he says, no, this is, just, this is just a poor monk. Send him away. We're, we're only here to receive important people. We don't want to uh, give lodging to every poor monk who comes along the way. Uh, now, I'm, I'm told uh, that there's a lot of commentary in this book on the religious and political institutions of the time. Uh, and I'm guessing this must be a commentary on the, the, the Buddhist monasteries at the time and how they, uh, how they had become things that only served the wealthy and, and had forgotten about the poor traveling monks. Or, or maybe it's just an episode, I don't know. Uh, so the, the, the monk goes to cry and the monkey gets really angry. Uh, and the monkey flies in and he takes out his golden cudgel and he starts knocking things around uh, and terrifies all the monks in this monastery. And he gets them to all apologize to his master and gets them to put him up for the night. Uh, and then uh, they later in the night, the monk gets out to relieve himself in the middle of the night and notices the moon. Uh, and then he talks about the, the moon with uh, the monkey and Friar Sand and the pig. And that is the end of the chapter. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if 
the next chapter is going to move on to a new episode or if it's going to continue this episode at the monastery. I I'll guess I'll, I'll see once I start chapter 37. But yeah, that's, that's my reading for this week. So I'll go ahead and finish here.